A medical emergency in a rubber camp deep in the jungle in central Myanmar. This young fighter has just had a stroke. Nas Shui Piu is the only healthcare person around. She's keeping him alive for the hours it takes to smuggle in critical medicines. She used to practice in a major hospital, but like many other healthcare workers, refused to work for the military after the coup. Instead, she discarded her phone and fled, leaving her home, her job and her family. Now, she's fighting back in her own way, treating people in rebel-held areas. These medicines are donated by the public. For the villagers here, she is the only lifeline. <laughs> Shui Piu now works as a nurse for a rebel group, supported by the parallel government, fighting to restore democracy since the military coup. She is a bigger target now than she has ever been. <laughs> Stories of horror greet the nurse in all the villages she visits. Many lie empty after the military raids. This woman was taken by soldiers. The next day, her husband found her body with signs of torture and rape. Now living with his two sons and a daughter, he says he will never forgive the military. The army can attack any time, so the Nas has to hide her medicines. Not a perfect storage, but at least it's safe here. Because of the military blockade, they have to smuggle in life-saving materials like their contrabands. <laughs> Five years old and left behind while her mother fights. Back in the camp, the young fighter is recovering from the stroke. Shui says every patient she can save is a small victory over the military. It's another day, another trip, and another fight. <laughs>